you know, just trying to get close to this thing. And finally, he got as close as he could. And it was still, I think, over 400 yards away. And he'd never take, I mean, the longest thing I ever shot at, I shot an antelope at 344 yards. This thing was over 400 yards away. So he put those crosshairs two inches below its back. Pow! He said the ram just stood there. <laughs> so he put it two inches above his back. Pow! He said the ram just stood there. He put it ten inches over his back. Boom! <laughs> he said, what about that preacher? He had to just keep aiming high. Yep. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Do, you, do you understand that illustration? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Christian, don't aim low. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Don't aim to be a low life. Yeah. Amen. 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 Aim high. Yeah. Amen. So I missed it. Then aim a little higher. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's good. Amen. Amen. Lord, if anybody in this world ought to aim high, it ought to be a Christian. Yeah. yeah. We'll aim as high as we can. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. I've I, I noticed this. I've noticed this. Sometimes, you know why sometimes people miss a target? Something gets loose. Uh -huh. Any of you guys ever shoot rifles, you know that. I took my son out one time and we were going to sight in a rifle. I mean, every year I sight in my rifle. I mean, you never know. And I'd hate to have the world's biggest buck come by. I miss him simply because I didn't sight in my rifle. So we took him out. I said, All right, Michael, I got him lined up on everything. Boom! He's about 14 inches off. I said, well, man, you have, you have bumped your scope or something. I said, take another shot. We'll shoot a, a pattern of three and, and see if they're all over here. We'll move. He shoots again. Now he's about 12 inches over on this side. <laughs> I said, shoot again. And he now he's about six inches over here. And I said, shoot again. And now he's up here. I said, what in the world? Come to find out, his scope was loose. <laughs> the scope got, when things get loose, you can't hardly hit a target. Yeah, yeah. man. You know, there's some Christian, they start having kids, and they say, you know, this is how we're going to raise our children. Amen. And then as time <coughs> goes by, they loosen up. Yeah. yeah come on. You're right. right. Amen. 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 Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Amen. You know, so as a Christian, this is some things I will not do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is some things I'm going to do. But as time goes by, they loosen up. Yeah. Yes, sir. Richard, right. Amen. Richard. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Good Amen. Amen. You know what we did with Michael's rifle? We tightened that thing back down. And then it was a lock tight. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Don't know what lock tight is? Yeah. Uh -huh. It just helps it stay. I'll yeah. tell you what. You got some things in your Christian life you've loosened up on. This morning be a good morning to say, all right, God, it's gotten loose. I'm not hitting the target anymore. I'm not even getting close. I'm all over the board. I'm going to tighten back down. I'm going to put some lock tight. Amen. 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 Yes, sir, preacher. I'm going to get some determination yes. where I just keep doing right. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Where am I? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I tell you why sometimes, sometimes people miss a the target. They don't put effort into it. Right. By that I mean this. You ever seen somebody that can really shoot well? You know what they do? They practice. Yeah. yeah. And they practice. Yeah. And they practice. I knew a guy. He would go out and shoot a, anywhere from 500 to 1,000 rounds every week with his 22. Yeah. Hmm. He wore the barrel out. Yeah. He wore his water out. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> And it's, it's not just it's not just with a rifle. Anybody that can shoot anything consistently well. These guys that play golf. Anybody can play golf? One person, two people. I, 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 I'm glad you do. God bless you. I don't play golf. I, 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 those things, I, they're too hard to clean and there's not enough meat down there. Now, yeah, amen. Amen. <laughs> but I was reading this article. I just thought, this guy would get out and practice hours a day. He said, the article said sometimes the ball he put out there, he'd hit it with another ball. Sometimes he'd practice till his hands bled. I'm going to tell you something. Living a righteous Christian life is more important than putting a ball in a hole Amen. or a bullet through a dot. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
Amen. 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 And we ought to put some effort Amen. into this thing of living right yeah. Yeah. and staying right. Amen. Amen. And if somebody else doesn't, you stay right. Amen. Yeah. You find yourself slipping, put some more effort into it. Amen. Yeah. You do right, Christian. Yeah. I, I talked to a guy one time. This guy was the uh, uh, one of the guys that, that trained uh, the, a Marine Corps. I don't think it was a sniper team, uh, but some kind of some guys that did a lot of shooting. And I and I, talk, I said, Bernie, I said, tell me how to shoot well. He said, Well, he said, there's a there's a lot in, I can tell you. He said, but I'll just I'll give it to you real simple. He said, Brass F. I said, What? He said, It's an acronym. Brass F. I said, Okay. I said, What does that mean? He said, R B R A S F. He said, Breathe. You gotta get your breathing ready. Mm -hmm. Relax. You can't be tensed up. Mm -hmm. Aim. Squeeze. He said, you don't jerk. You don't be a jerk. You, know? you yeah. squeeze. <laughs> he said, then that F is follow through. He said, if you've done everything right, then in your mind's eye, you'll know that that works. Yeah, I said, I tried it. It works. Yeah. And I got to think about that. Amen. Hey, Breathe. You know that? That's prayer. Yeah. Amen. Hey, Help me live right. Hey, Amen. We have no strength in our own yeah. self yeah. Yeah. to stay clean in this world. Yeah. Man, we need God. Yes. I mean, every day we live, you hear things, see things that are constantly trying. Uh, breathe. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Pray. <gasps> Relax. I said, hmm, that's trusting God. Yeah. That's peace. Yeah. Aim. Yeah. Yeah. That's getting a goal. Yeah. That's getting on the target. Squeeze. Amen. So what's that? That's being deliberate. Yes. Yeah. Huh. About what you do. <coughs> Follow through. That's keeping at it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If you do that, man, you stay on target. Amen. 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 You stay on target. You, you know why sometimes people miss a mark? Sometimes because they're shooting at a moving target. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. If we took something and put it down the road 200 yards, 300 yards down there, that'd be hard enough to hit. But if we took two of these young people in the church and started rolling it back and forth, oh, man. Yeah. Then it really becomes, when you get a moving target, I had a guy, all kinds of stories come out. I had, we had somebody on the farm up north of us that had a bunch of these old feral hogs yeah. just destroying their, their they had a, a, a cattle ranch up there. They told me that the hogs had done $20,000 worth of damage. Yeah. And he said, he told us, he said, come in and kill them. He said, shoot everything you see. <laughs> Amen. So I went up there with this friend of mine, and we just going to shoot a bunch of hogs and so on. And he got four wheel, and we got out there in this field, and we come up to this fence line, and we looked, and here they were. There was a there was a squadron of hogs. I mean, there was, man, look at the hogs. He said, all right. He said, I'm going to let you off here. I said, okay. <laughs> I said, you run up the fence line over the hill, and then he said, I'll try to come around and run them up that way. So, man, I took off up that hill. You know, I figured out after about 400 yards why I didn't become, what kept me from becoming a long-distance marathon runner. <laughs> yeah. It was about 35 years, about 25 pounds. Amen? <laughs> but just when I pressed those, those hogs took off, and he's after them. I could hear the four-wheeler over there near, near the wood line. And just when I pressed the hill, I heard something. This guy is a good shot. And I come over the hill, I expected five dead hogs. I walk over the hill, he's got a sheepish grin on his face. I said, where's the hogs? He said, they zigged when they should have zagged. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to move a hit, uh, to hit a moving target. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's hard. you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what some Christians do? They'll line up on something for a little while, and then they move something. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then they'll they'll they're gonna do this for a little while, and then, then something else. Yeah. And the target is always moving. Yeah. yeah. And then after a while, they're not even shooting at anything. Amen. They're just sitting in church, and then they're not even in church. Amen. Right. You're right. Preacher. Yeah. Man. You preaching? Yes, sir. Amen. Jonathan said, "As though I shot him. As though I shot him." 
Christian, there will be some marks. Amen. There will be some marks that you have. This is a good Bible believing church. I believe that. Amen. There's no doubt in my mind. I've never heard your pastor preach, but there's no doubt in my mind. Y'all get fed. Amen. Y'all get exhorted. Is he preaching that book? Amen. 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 Is what he's telling you the truth? Yes. Amen. Amen. Then he's setting up all kind of targets. Amen. I mean, maybe you can't shoot at everything all at once. You don't have a machine gun. Start picking you up. I'm going to work on this. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to start on it. And keep the target. Amen. Don't you, don't you just keep moving from something to something. Man, you, you get it to you drill that target. Amen. Amen. Hitting the mark. Father, I come across that. And God, <coughs> take the words of this simple message. God, burn them into our hearts this morning. And God, I, I don't, I don't know what's in the heart of this people. I don't know, Lord, maybe what you've dealt with somebody about. But Lord, may we be honest with ourselves and with you. May we be humble enough that God, if you've touched our heart, that God, we won't let it go by. God will time and we'll do something about what you've spoken to our hearts about. Lord, direct this pastor what to say in this invitation. God, God, just do something. Start, start the, the, uh, the, the, the meeting this week in this message where God will get some things right. God will get serious about some things. God, help us to get on target. And I ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Preacher, you come. Thank <laughs> you.